Yo, what is Moist? My man's back with another video. Today we got the K versus Kingler for Smoke on Snake Draft. Now, looking at these teams, these teams are both very similar, and I can't really say too much about team preview because, uh, like, this is just going to be mono standard sets. Um, now, on the Magma and Kingler side, it could be, it could be like every set. It could be some defensive shit, so I can take on Wingle better because otherwise the best switching is uh, switching hard in the Staryu and hoping for the Tywin. Uh, it could also just be Scarf, so it can switch into Hurricane and then um, just kill it with the Scarf Electric move. And on the case side, it's just going to be Mono Standard Boys again, just the move Wingle. Standard on all those four, <laughs> most most likely, and a Scarf Magnemite. So I can't really say too much about Team Preview. Now, let's just dive right into this game. We see Mianfu versus Bellaby. For the cage, just as for the cage just fakes out here to get the weak armor activated on Vullaby. Now he either fires off, fires off high jump kick or switches into one of his flying uh, plus bug resists to uh, like Onyx or Magnemite to eat up the attack. Now Kingler is either going to fire off a fat, actually fat Brave Bird is kind of an unplay because uh, Mianfu could just eat that up and one shot you back. So I think from Kingler's side you just hard U-turn here. I think U-turn is like the only play you could make. Um, yeah, so Decay just pulls it back to Onyx. The U-turn comes out. If this is weak armor, it's not that bad. There's no sturdy to be broken here. Starry comes out. Um, this Onyx can't really touch Starry, so it has to pull back. I assume it's just going to pull back to to my man Mianfu to just, just, pivot, just pivot in. He could also just go hard Magnemite, uh, predicting the Ice Beam to come out to also pivot in. Because Ice Beam, if like if Kingler has Ice Beam, Ice Beam is kind of the only play because it just covers, uh, covers Onyx staying in for whatever reason. It covers the Fungus, and it like that those like the only uh, those like the only plays you would need to cover uh, it doesn't cover the magnemite though and yeah it covers the volibee as well as the hard pump comes out there's a holy shit ton uh, i guess volibee is a fine play it's sort of right it, like it switches into a hard ice beam it's, it's i guess fine to pivot in but it just takes a shitload you lose your bear juice immediately and you don't want to you don't want to like eat all these hits up now the cake just throw off a knockoff to weaken this star you and cripple it and cripple everything that wants to come in as well. Now Kingler could just hit an ice beam if he has that or a pump if you want that. If he, if he only has pump to touch Vullaby, you definitely don't want to risk three hitting three pumps in a row. So that, in that case, Onyx or Magnemite is the play. Never mind, Magnemite's not the play. You need that healthy for uh, for Wingle. So Onyx is the play in that case. The cage is going to throw off a knockoff or a U-turn if he's really feeling a bit wild. But it might be a knockoff, it's just a better play. Because otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, you might just get hit with an ice beam or pump. Um, I guess if he has ice beam, I don't see why it wasn't the play there. So, I assume he doesn't have Ice Beam, but you don't want to get hit in the face with the pump, and then just you turn out to just do, like, almost nothing, and just switch out the Fungus, and have your Vullaby be really low. So, those are kind of the plays these mans can make. Now, yeah, like I said at the start of the video, all these sets are just going to be standard as shit. The Rocker on K the rocker on both sides is Onyx. Just going to be st standard defensive on, like, everything, <laughs> except for the uh, Z-Wing on the K side, and just, like... Like the Vullaby is probably just gonna be weak armor bear juice on both sides. It's like the most common set. It's just gonna be some something. As actually, um, yeah, as actually it's already been revealed that it's bear uh, that it's uh, bear juice on the K side and weak armor Kingler side. So it's probably that set. So we do see it's 30 juice Onyx. Uh, not getting that juice knocked off really sucks. Now we just throw off a your rocks if you yeah I was gonna say if you have that but there's no reason not to have that. So the rocks are just gonna come up. If the K is feeling wild, he U turns to get a little bit of chip, but I just don't think it's worth it. Instead, the play is to either go hard Mianfu or hard Fungus. I think hard Mianfu is better, though. Yep, rocks come up on the Mianfu. Now, Decay just goes for rocks here, cause, or it goes for a knock here, predicting the Fungus. Um, there's no real other play here. Or the really U-turn. Yeah, U-turn's fine, actually, to get in the Wingle. Because Wingle's still a huge, huge threat. Um, especially if it's Z-move. Uh, especially if it's Z-Water, so you can nuke the Magnum. That, could, that would be a huge threat. You can also just get in your Vullaby here. You, both flying types would work. Um, Vullaby is a bit more expendable and a bit more expendable to take these rocks though. But the problem with that is that um, Vullaby just gets hardwalled by Onyx. You can go Vullaby in U-turn and if the play goes wrong, you can just go to your own Fungus and just have a Fungus War. I think that's the better play uh, over just hard Brave Birding. So I assume I assume Decay is going to knock off or Defog if he has that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, but it's Defog Vullaby, which is cool. It's not too common, but it would. Ma yeah, it does make sense if you have a big Pico in the back. So now you just switch right back into Mianfu. As I assume Kingler just gets up these rocks, uh, just gets them right back up, because these rocks are actually pretty big this game. Uh, rocks are always just nice, but against these two flying boys <laughs> that the K has on his side, rocks are pretty uh, important. And there's no real other play you can make. It actually goes for the rock blast, which is a play I disagree with. I know he was trying to catch him on the staying in, but what? Oh, was he actually just sacks his Onyx on the HJK, predicting the K to overpredict there. But yeah, I 110% agree with the K's HJK play there, because you don't want to let Kingler get up free rocks, 
And if you were to go to Fungus, you can go to your own Fungus and just force a Fungus War. And eventually, on the turn, Kingler Synthesis is synthesized. What, however you... What, what is the plural of, like, synthesis? I don't know. But then you can just switch out to one of your Flying Boys. So, I agree, I disagree with Kingler's play there. Uh, the Rock's play was just a nice risky play that just backfired. But the Rock Blast, like, it's a defog... Volibee, like what, like you think, like I guess it could be like Defog HP Grass, but that's mega unset. I think it already revealed U turn. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I actually no, it didn't reveal U turn yet. But like, it's just most likely to be Defog, Defog three attacks. I guess if you're scared of if you're scared of some HP Grass tech, I guess Rock Blast could be the play. But even then, I I don't know if I agree with Kingler's series of plays there. But just moving on to the game, Volibee is just probably gonna fire off a knockoff here. Um, actually, yeah, I think knockoff is the play. Or, yeah, knockoff or U-turn. I guess they're both fine. Um, if you're Decay here, you can... I don't know if Mianfu snacks this from this range. I know it snacks it from full, but I don't know what the roll is. Uh, from Volibee onto Mianfu, I don't know what Decay's investment is. Like, if it's if it's offensive Mianfu without too much defense, this is not going to snack as it just topples over. Now, I don't know if that was a roll. Um, since Decay stayed in, that's definitely a roll, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, like, there's no way Decay would stay in if, <laughs> if, like, if Mianfu didn't eat that. In that case, you definitely go to one of your flying resist. Um, so I assume that's a roll that was like just like heavily in Decay's favor, and he just he was just willing to risk that, and he got punished for it. So, um, yeah. So Socrates said this O code anyway, which <laughs> well, I th he might be talking about another game, but that's like if he's talking about this game. That's 110 percent uh, false. So yeah, that's like a like Zomax said, that's a one in ten roll. It's probably more than one in ten. It's like one in sixteen, one in eighteen, or some shit like that. Uh, for people who don't know, rolls in LC, uh, the LC community kind of regards rolls as kind of like a crit. If you get like a one in eighteen percent roll, because most of the time, it's either it does like ten damage, twelve damage, or fourteen damage, and that fourteen is just like one out of all the numbers that you can have. For a full explanation, uh, <laughs> feel free to hit me up on Discord. Um, not JK, but uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't understand how LC rolls work. But um, yeah, people just people like people like comments on the fact that I call rolls hacks in LC. But um, I think. They are, and this was definitely a case of hacks. So the Voltage comes out on the Magnemite. Uh, Kingdom's Magnemite is definitely not a Violite. Takes a shit ton from that. Uh, as they, the case, I think the case Magnemite's analytic because there's no way a regular would do that much. Kingo just makes a good play. Volt switches out into Fungus. Oh, and this is my favorite part of LC. Get your popcorn because we're gonna have a Fungus bar. Oh, it's gonna be lit. So these Fungus are just gonna spam Sludge Bomb, spam Synthesis until one of them goes to a Flying type. This is my favorite part about the entirety of LC. Just two mushrooms, just having fun on the battlefield, just throwing off their sludge, throwing off their heals. The, what more can you ask for? Especially if they're both not knocked or both knocked. That just makes it even better because that means, ooh, as the K tries to catch him on the spore. This is the first part of the Fungus War. He tries to catch him on the spore right out to Volibi, Um, because that's weak armor. Now he goes hard to Magma predicting the sludge bomb. As the, ooh, slash Volibi, which is a gold play by the K because it covered both. Now the Fungus is going to come back in and now the, now the flying tab comes in. So that was a kind of a short-lived Fungus War. Kind of sad about that. I would have loved to see it go on for 10 turns. But, yeah, these, <laughs> these people are just trying to move on with their day and just um, make actual plays. So, now, where is Kingler's Brave Bird switch in? It's, I guess, Staryu. I guess Staryu just snacks one up for breakfast and then kills it with the pump. I guess Staryu is the play then because I guess you could go Magnemite as well, but uh, Magnemite takes a shit down from knockoff. Actually, yeah, the K has Defog on this. Why do I keep forgetting about Defog? Dude, I'm such a retard. Yeah, Defog was the play um, if he has Defog. So, yeah, Fungus, uh, Kingler makes a nice play with Fungus and it's good for the Spore. Even if this were to get knocked off or something, he still uh, keeps hazards up, which is pretty huge. Or keeps rocks up. Uh, because his rock setter is dead, you do want to keep those up. So now the kid just goes to Magnemite on the Volibee. Ooh, so good, dude. It covered the uh, Sludge Bomb. Plus, uh, I mean, it covered just the Fungus thing in. Plus, it covers the Volibee. So the kid is doubling to this Magnemite immaculately. Free as Volt Switch. Gets a momentum. Ground type is dead. <laughs> like, the Fungus has to come out here. Just get that momentum into Pico. And now, ooh, now it's Pico time. Pico season has arrived, and the K is definitely in the driver's seat here. Um, Pico just comes out and goes in. And then <laughs> a, a bit later, Magnemite comes in somehow again. Pico comes back in, and, and it's, it's over again. So this is why sacking the Onyx um, hard backfired on Kingler, because otherwise he could have had some mind games to play around. But now the Magnemite comes in, takes a Hurricane. The K playing it safe as the confusion does come out. Now Wingle has to switch out here. Wingle can I guess for, go for the protect to fish for confusion, plus to, uh, to see what it locks himself into in case it locks himself into flash cannon. Kingler predicts that and goes to Stardew, which is a kind of a king play right there. Now the K has a pivot out. Now the Stardew is kind of the only threat Kingler still has outside of like maybe Timber if it can uh, 
blow past the fungus but this star is still looking like a threat now if this star has any move to really really hit the wingle with it has to be t-bolt and if it has t-bolt it's either going to be lacking recover or lacking move to hit fungus so if it lacks recover that's big for decay because then he can just chip away at this with hurricanes if the starry wants to come in if it lacks a move to hit fungus fungus is just going to wall which is also big which means the starry was not a threat at all the only problem here is if the K just switches hard into Fungus and takes that Ice Beam to the nose, uh, that's just gonna suck. <laughs> it's gonna do a fuck ton of damage. He doesn't have a pivot as the move to hit, the move to hit Wingle was Psychic. So, um, uh, Sky Strike comes out, does a shitload, but yeah, a Pump Psychic or Scald Psychic is the most common star you set. The only problem here is, um, King can just heal up. So, if the K wants to risk the tie plus hitting a Hurricane, he can go for that. Um, but if he loses the tie and King just goes for a free recover, that's just a turn wasted, basically. But, yeah, I think it might even be worth to risk the tie, because... I don't know. Because, like, if he... Even if you lose the tie, uh, there's no way Kingler hits anything outside of recover to just keep this healthy and switch into Wingle in the future, or just, like, switch into things in the future and be a threat in the future. So there's no way you don't hit recover here if you're Kingler. So if the K just goes to the tie, hits his Hurricane, it's pi that's, like, that's huge for him, because Starry just gets eliminated. If he loses the tie... And King of the Ghost for the recover, that's still fine. Um, the only way out is... Ooh, as actually, uh, Decay goes for the hard knockoff, so he doesn't even need to risk Hurricane if he has knockoff. Yeah, that's actually pretty fire. So, he actually has... Um, what He actually has tacked knockoff dual stab, which is kind of an uncommon set. I didn't even uh, think about knockoff or U-turn, because most sets do tend to carry Roost. But yeah, this doesn't need defog, so we wouldn't carry that. But a lot of Wingle sets do like to carry Roost. But yeah, knockoff does make sense. Bear just gets knocked off. Now, this Vallabi is... I'm um, gonna do some stuff here. It can just, uh, it can just, <laughs> it can just knock off. I was gonna say, but it actually reveals hidden power, uh, grass or yeah, it's it's just grass is what they carry, right? Um, yeah, I was thinking about grass or water, but I think the the move they carry is always grass. Uh, I can't really remember for what specific reason. I think they, but they both just do about the same thing. They hit Onyx and they just murder it. Now Decay doesn't have the best switch into knock off at all anymore. He can switch into Onyx and just get his weak armor boost, which would be huge. Or he can just. Um, die to hit him power or at least take a shit it's a violet so it doesn't die but it just gets two KO'd because of the uh weak armor boost volley is going to be able to outspeed onyx now if the k can get in his magnemite on a hidden power that would be nice because you can just eat that up for breakfast um if it's hp grass which is i what i think is what most people run because i that's the only set i've ever seen so i don't know if that kills wingle because volley special attack unboosted is not that great uh, I know it has, still has a decent special attack stat, but if it's unboosted, it's not that great. But Wingle is like frail as a paper bag, so I even doubt it's going to eat. Um, now, Decay gets in his Vullaby on a knockoff. He, go, he goes to his own Vullaby, which is an interesting play because you cannot burn this sleep turn. And you're just going to sack this off, and now you're going to have to look for a new sleep fodder. I guess you don't have to look for a new sleep fodder because you have your own Fungus. Um, so I guess it's, it's, I guess it's still fine. Now he just goes to his Onyx, which can eat a hidden power. I think Kingler could still just hit this with a hard hidden power. And just do a shit ton and just leave this Onyx low. He can also switch out into... He can also switch out into Timber, I guess? On the Rock Blast. Yeah, I think Timber on the Rock Blast could actually work. I just actually just... Yeah, he just goes for the Hidden Power, does a shit ton. Oh my lord, not like this. Ooh, that sucks so much. <laughs> that That is ultra over. Um, now if the K is... Good. If, if the K is nice with it, he just pulls it back to Magnemite and saves this as fodder. But... Because you're going to have to go Magnemite afterward anyway. And there's no, um, there's no way, there's no way he's gonna click anything outside of, oh, oh, dude, I was gonna say there's no way Kingler hits anything outside of hidden power here, but this man is so fire with it, he reads the K like a fiddle. Um, if knockoff killed the Onyx, in that case, <laughs> me and the K both, uh, kinda choking on ass, but I, I don't think that kills, cause my man, my man Onyx is fat. So, now he just goes back to Fungus. Everything is dead. <laughs> Dude, Kingler's just gonna go through the six here. This is over. Over with the Snover. Yeah, this is mega over. He doesn't have a Pokemon that eats. Yeah, this is over. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Nice god play by Kingler right there. Yeah, this is ultra over. There's nothing the K can even do. All his mods died to knock off or Brave Bird. Like, he's gonna need to kill the Vullaby with Recoil, but I don't even know if he can do that. And even if he does that, all his Pokemon are either dead or knocked or, like, just, like, left in a state of ruin so this match is ultra over uh, <clears throat> yeah this is just gonna be Vullaby just going in so yeah welcome to the Vullaby show everyone <laughs> just grab a drink let me do some uh, drink ASMR real quick mm. hope you guys enjoyed my ASMR session of drinking water now Kingler really is the greatest to ever do it 
Um, this man's actually thinking about his turn when you just brave bird here, right? Um, actually, if knockoff kills you, knockoff obviously, but I don't know if it kills. I, I guess it should kill, but you need it to always kill. Yep, knockoff comes out onto the magnemite. Now we go back. Now the K goes back to Fungus, get some more regen maybe to make this thing kill himself. But <laughs> even with that, it's just already over. This game already been over. So yeah, the Volibee show has been fully activated. Huge play by Kingler knocking off the Magmite. That just sealed up the game. Yep, now we just go to Onyx. As Kingler is the god and actually just... What? Dude, what was that? He actually just hard predicts that. Uh, it doesn't take any recoil chip, which doesn't matter. Um, or he just didn't want... Yeah, he just didn't want that thing. Dude, how is Kingler this good? How? Dude, how does he even do it? If he Brave Bird there on the... Um, if he Brave Bird's there on the Onyx, Onyx gets the boost. And I think Volibee only had one uh, weak arm boost, so we would have been forced to switch out. But unfortunately for Decay, Kingler is actually the greatest to ever do it and just knocks off there, predicting that. Yeah, this was fire. <laughs> this was just really fire to watch. Kingler just shred through the K. Uh, the K didn't even misplay at all. He just got outplayed and predicted. So yeah, great, great showing by Kingler here. Making some powerful plays. Um, now if, <laughs> I don't want to say I told you so, but if the K hit Hurricane on the turn that I told him to, then uh, this would have all not happened. <laughs> okay, enough of me acting like I'm the GOAT. Uh, well, Doc shows some standings or whatever. Like, there's still a lot of time left. No, there's not. All right. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sub to Doc and sub to me because I need the money for my daughter. So, yeah, that, that's...